Okay, so now let's create an AN with UV support using Elestio. Um, I already created an account, so the next step is creating a new service. And what we need here is NAN. So we will start with the existing image, but we will adjust it to our needs. Uh, you can select different cloud providers. I will just stick to this one. And minimum what you need is probably something like two gigabytes of RAM memory. So uh, this machine is stronger than needed. If I select the digital ocean, I should probably be able to select something smaller. Maybe even this one gigabyte could be enough, but the price difference is not that significant. Okay. And just click next. Service name will be NAN demo. We could configure additional network volumes, but in that case, we need to adjust our configuration and we don't need to do that. So let's keep it simple. Okay, the service is running. So the next step is to open the service. Go to tools. Explore files. Okay, and we want to open this URL. And login with those credentials. So that we can modify files that are on the server. And uh, next we want to open Docker Compose. This is the configuration, the default configuration of the image. Okay. Instead of using this image, we will use our Docker image. And one more thing we need to adjust. I don't know why the screen is gray. I will not fight it, <laughs> fight it. Uh, is to set this parameter that allows hosting community nodes because we need the MCP community node. Let's save the configuration. Create a Docker file. I already started. And inside the Docker file, we want to copy and paste this content. And you can download it from my Google Drive. Save. Close. Uh, go to, we can close the files. Okay. And the next step is to open the terminal. And we want to build our container. <laughs> so uh, it's specific to, to this platform. The next one is triggering Docker commands. So the first command uh, the second command and this builds the container and the third command will run it.
Okay, and the third command will run the container. And uh, now we need to wait because probably the UI is not available yet, but let's check. Yeah, it might take a while. So <laughs> we can <laughs> observe the logs or just wait. Okay, let's check again. So now I will quickly go through installation. This is a temporary license. This is a temporary instance. So I will not focus on this. Uh, I can get paid features for free. So yes, please send me this free license key. Uh, I will check my inbox. So this is the email that I got. And after clicking this button, I have activated my community edition. So as you can see, here my instance is registered. The next step is to go to the settings and to community notes. And we want to install a specific community node. We just take it, paste it here. We understand the risks, of course, and install. Okay, let's test it. So we can create a new workflow. Let's do something simple. It will start on a chat message. Here I will add a tools agent connected to the chat. And the chat model will be OpenAI with the new credentials. You can take it from OpenAI platform. Okay, let's give it a simple memory. And what we want to see here is the MCP client tool. And this was enabled by installing this special community node. So let's connect to Atlassian. And the command should be uvx, which is the special MCP server type we didn't support before. And next, we call MCP Atlassian with the required parameters. And instead of separating parameters with commas, like you would do in Cloud Desktop, here we do it with spaces. Uh, in a moment, I will have to replace the tokens because this is not the right token. Okay, and my token was... I will uh, remove it before publishing this video. My Jira token was this here and here. Okay. 
and I will explain how to build an agent in a separate video. And right now I only want to test if uh, we can connect MCP servers that are not developed in Node.js. So let's open the chat and can you tell me what are the supported tools? Let's see if it will work. In the future iterations, it should be faster. Uh, but right now we use this package for the first time. Okay, so we have supported Confluence tools like search, get page, create page, and different Jira tools. So getting issues, searching issues, adding, deleting, updating, and so on. Okay, so this is the working installation of NAN that supports every possible MCP server that you can run in cloud. For example, using uh, this hosting platform. And in a separate video, I will describe an agent that I created and also uh, show how you can create AI voice agents.